This week on Cubed, we are going to be reviewing a new toy that we've invested in. It is the Zuin Crane Plus Gimbal. As two complete gimbal novices, we found the process of setting it up and calibrating it with a camera on incredibly easy and straightforward. It's lightweight, it's got incredible performance for such a small device. Um, you get such a wonderful fluid movement with it. What we have found is that it does need practice and that's something that we've definitely got to work on before we start using it on client projects. Okay, it's great for if you're walking and, and you keep the gimbal itself steady, but if you're bouncing up and down like that, the gimbal actually really struggles to counteract that. So that's where you've got to do a bit of a ninja walk. Less of me talking about it, let's go outside and try this thing out. One of the best things about the Crane Plus is the fact that it is so lightweight. It's amazing that they've got this quality of build in such a lightweight product. In order to set it up, you need the tripod legs out and a flat surface. We are working on a bit of a slope, but that shouldn't be too much of an issue. As far as we're concerned, we are amateurs in the gimbal game, but we are so impressed as to how simple this gimbal is to set up. We're going to be using the Canon 70D with the 24 to 105 lens on it, and I'm going to go ahead and attach this to the base plate. Unfortunately, this doesn't come with a quick release plate, which some people have criticised, but you know, it's not the end of the world. We can still use it quite easily. So I'm going to stick that on there and it's going to be way, way, way out. I already know. Yep. So, okay, we're leaning and spinning. So in order to do that, there's a few little places you can make adjustments. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to straighten the camera. You've got this plate on the bottom here, which moves the position of the base plate forward and backwards. I actually know that I'm going to need it near the back. So I'm just going to tighten that off with that nut. It's leaning a lot to the left at the moment. So you've got this attachment on the back which I loosen that and I can push this across that way. So we're probably gonna to have to go across most of the way because we've still got a bit of a lean. All right, that's probably as good as we're gonna get it. We've got this attachment on the side, which is actually probably in the right position. So I'm just gonna tighten that off. And then you've got one at the bottom, which is stopping the spinning happening basically. So I'm gonna pull that one out we're pretty much there, but it's definitely still leaning too far to the front. So I know that I've just got to loosen that back plate, bottom plate rather, and twist that back. And in theory, we're pretty much set up. So the next thing to do is you just hold the little button that's got the camera above it down for a couple of seconds until you see a solid amber light, and then the gimbal comes on. I'd love to show you some of the shots that you can capture with this gimbal with little to no practice. We think that this gimbal is absolutely amazing for the price that you pay and for its capabilities. It's a tool that most videographers probably can't live without now. For the value of money, the quality of the build, we think it's an investment well worth making. Thank you so much for joining us on this episode of Cubed. Be sure to subscribe to our channel, join in the conversation in the comments down below, Tweet us at 2CubeCreate and check out our website 2cube.co slash cubed for a little bit more information. <music>